World of Tanks Battle Pass Judgment Day. So there's a special law, uh, Battle Pass Judgment Day, which is Terminator-themed um, marathon mission. It is a limited time from January 12 to January 26, which is 14 days. You got to play between 400 and 500 games. You, you don't need more than 500, but you're probably going to need more like 400 games in order to earn the tank, which is a T-32, and it is called the T-832. So it's similar to the way the Battle Pass has been done before. If you average uh, five points per game, and uh, you have point limits, you get additional points, like you can get an additional 35 uh which means that you're going to want to play the tier that gives you the best additional points. It's going to let you uh, get through it faster. Actually, you know what? That might be incorrect. You might want to play, for example, this one. You could play three of these and get... Oh, that's a tier? It's per vehicle, so you'd be able to get 45 additional points. But for this, you'd have to play 700. For this one, you'd have to get 300. So you might want to um, play the lower tiers because obviously you get the point value doesn't change per tier. You're going to do better with your best tank. Um, this is the T832. It has one, two, three, four, five, six. It's got six crew members, which has two loaders. Uh, having more crew members is actually good because it prevents you from having your whole crew knocked out. You can train more people and you can add more skills, even though obviously loaders isn't going to have a big impact. The amount of damage is kind of average, but it's good. The penetration is average. The gold round is 252. Really nothing that special about it. Hit points is 15, 50. Top speed is 35, which is makes it a slow to medium speed heavy tank dispersion is 0.33 that is amazing that's a really good dispersion value one of the best in the game and the aim time is 1.7 that's also amazing one of the best in the game which means that this vehicle is going to be a sniper tank you can be far away and you can snipe at enemy targets with this vehicle or perhaps if you are brawling you'll be able to aim for the weak spots a lot easier. So then we have the uh, the hull armor. The lower plate is 127. It's decent, nothing special about it. The turret armor is 298, which is absolutely amazing. One of the best in the game. That is tier 10 turret armor, and it's better than some tier 10 tanks. It's probably better than every Tier 8 tank outside of uh, the T-32, because it is a T-32. The Mutant, for example, uh, 197 on the side is also extremely good, and 152 on the rear is also very good. Top speed is 35, nothing special about it. 865 horsepower engine. Obviously, there are better engines out there. Okay, so I just want to do a quick overview of what it is. Um, I did the calculation for the number of games, a maximum of 500. Uh, I would say around 400 you'd have to do. And what I did was I took the 50 stages and I divided it by the five average which means you got to do 10 per stage, which means 10 times 50 stages. I'm sorry, the 50 points divided by the 5 gives you 10 per stage, which means 500 stages without any bonuses. That's the maximum. You should be able to complete it 500, which I'm going to just get my little calculator out. If you do how many points per hour you would be doing let's say let's say it's going to take you 50 hours of gameplay and if you play 8 per day no 50 divided by 8 
it should take you about six days uh, to complete this. More than six days. Is the tank good? I would say it is a um, a good tank for uh, if you use the gold rounds. I would say definitely it's a good tank. If you if you like to play hull down positions, definitely it's a good tank. Um, now the question is, if you've got the two eighteen penetration and you're going up against other vehicles, what's their turret armor going to be? 218 is a little bit on the low side if you're brawling. So I would say that considering all the overpowered tanks out there, it's not an overpowered tank, but for armor it is. I would say if you're firing the gold rounds, it's definitely overpowered. The HE rounds, nothing special. Um, if it had higher penetration for the regular rounds, I would say it would be an overpowered tank. But in this case, uh, not so much. Um, now, keep in mind, the T-34, one of the most popular tanks in the game, this is almost exactly like a T-34. Nearly identical, little difference. I believe that the turret is shorter on this vehicle. Between this and the T-34, I don't know which one I would pick, but uh, you should definitely compare this to the T-34. I'm sorry I'm not going to do it, but if you're trying to decide between the two, definitely look at the T-34. Also... This is in the tech tree. The T-32 is in the tech tree. So if you want to try it out before you buy it, you can play the tech tree version if you've already researched it and see what it's like. So that's the T-832 from Battle Pass Judgment Day, World of Tanks. If you have any questions or comments, please post below. I do own CheapBooks.com, which is a website that uh, shows listings for books and textbooks. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.